Hey there, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, so the last time we landed on Novaria, uh, we did some corporate espionage, and then we took the Mako out to uh, Peak 15 to go find our uh, heavily cleavaged Asari matriarch. And her daughter is nowhere to be found. Where's Liara, dammit? Get your butt through the hole. What are you doing? You, see, you really didn't come through the door. I did that by myself. Get your butts through the door. They are. God damn it, woman. Get, get in here. Where are you? They are. Follow me. Follow me. Put your shit away. Follow me. Come on. Sometimes the, uh... Oh, God damn it! Get through the door! Okay. Okay. Now we're good. God, they're stupid. Alright, let's see what we can do here. The map look like. Okay, so all right. So looks like we gotta go up to the elevator to the cafeterias. Okay. Ooh, description. Mind if I do? Take all that. Ooh, upgrade kit. I want. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Take a peek in here. Ooh, we got an upgrade kit. We got an average decryption for a storage locker. That's always fun. Take all that. Oh, we're starting to get tens now. I think ten is the highest number that you can get to in terms of, like, the, the level of an item in this. Okay. So now we get in the elevator. Come on, boys. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. We're gonna be encountering some shit. Oh god. What are you doing? Get your butts out there and start killing people. Burn in hell. Come out from your hiding spot. Burn in hell. Sorry, Commanders. What was that? Probably debris. Don't have a panic attack. I'll protect or, you. Or not. Oh! That's nightmare fuel. That is what's known as a rack knife. Fudge! They're up in there. Let's, uh, let's just do a quick little jaunt around to make sure I'm not missing anything down here. I don't think I am, but just in case. Okay. Now we're gonna go up and take care of those last couple rachni. Ooh, easy decryption on a terminal. Personal logs, administ Administrator Tartakovsky. 
That is last time. No more will I use that transport carrier. Three shipments we lose in Macedon system in one month. They are too stupid or too slow. If only Gregor still ran his shipments, he would get what I need, and no mercenaries would dare stop him. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well, there's nothing really more to do in there, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna shoot these last... The big boy, Rachni! Oh god, I forgot they spew bile and shit. Burn in hell. What were those? Rachni. Damned if I know, but someone on this mountain does. I guess I spoiled it, but I don't care, because we just find out that they're Rachni. Okay, we did something there. Ooh, what's in here? Alright. Medical kit. I feel like this is a trap. Alright. Oh, yeah, it was a trap. Drax, kill it! Oh, I forgot we can upgrade. Upgrade his dampening. Liara. Uh, let's give your warp a little boost. Rest his fitness. Okay. Any more of you? Feeling myself. This gonna be freaky. So guys. Bye guys. Are there any more? Oh my unholy god! Burn in hell, you little sons of bitches. Are they dead? God damn it. Ooh. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Crap. Hmm. Ooh, I'm pretty good. Taking you. Alright, let's see here what we got. To the roofs. Here we go. And to the core! <laughs> Excuse me again. I'm gonna grab a drink of water while we're on the elevator. And then we'll interact. Okay. <sighs> okay. So now let's uh, let's see what we have down here. These shenanigans. All right. So, it's, so we're in the core. So what is what do we have to do in the core? There we go. Memory access. <sighs> Can I do a manual react? Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I can't get out of this. I have the Omni Gel. I'm just gonna use the Omni Gel. Why did I get a James Bond sting? I never hear that. Like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place. This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to binary helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shutdown in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? 
The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the Helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Okay. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay, all these doors are now open. Uh, just give me one User second. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pause this for a quick second, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now we can start going to try and repair these things. So which one is this? This is... Fire containment system. Okay. Looks like we're going to be going to an elevator. Yep, okay. Now entering main reactor. Oh, this is the main reactor. User alert. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency yeah, containment Yeah, I know. You already procedures. said that, damn it. Shut up. Manual restart required. You have no soul. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Yeah. How many more? Oh, Jesus. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Here. Unholy God. Holy crap on the stick. All right. Fix the fuel lines. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. I swear to God, I feel bad. I, I feel bad that I put you back on. You're annoying. Taking all that. And it doesn't really look like that there's a whole lot else. Oop, okay, weapons locker. 
Uh, as usual, once we get back to the Normandy, I will do all of the uh, upgrades and shenanigans uh, for this uh, playthrough off stream, so that way I don't have to bore you with going through people's uh, inventories for like 15 minutes. But I think we will be able to finish Novaria this, this time, so uh, I think that'll work out well. Alright, so we got that back online. So that's all good. Ooh, mirror terminal. Online. How may I assist you? That's all I need right now. Very well, Okay, Commander. all right, it's just Locking there asking questions and BS. Okay, whatever. All right, we're gonna go back downstairs. Why are you still in the elevator? What happened? Why did I open the door and you were already in the elevator? I know you were on the other side with me. I saw you shooting people. It's all so confusing. Thank God these things were hammered out in later games. Like I said, Mass Effect 1, even though it does hold a very special place in my heart because it was the start of the series and it was a really good game, it is still... Oh, God! User alert. Land connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Rex! Damn it, man, you gotta follow me. Come on, buddy. Rex, come on! Okay. Now we gotta go. Okay, that's leading back to the cafeteria. That's why we came in. We got that up and running. Passenger trams, that's the place to go to there, but that's still offline. Okay, so we gotta go to this place. This is the satellite array? User alert. Yep. Landline right, connections landline. are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are Shut disabled. up! Passenger trams are Is there a way to disable that? Other than fixing things? Maybe I could just, like, blow the hole at a control panel or something. Oh, boy. This ain't gonna end well. Holy. Rex, protect me! Be my human shield! Holy freaking crap, User alert. man! Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. I swear to God, if you don't shut the hell up. Landlines have been repaired. Alright, we completed the repairs to peak 15. Now we can take the tram. But first, I have encryptions to funk around with. Come on, come on, come on. Taking that. Alright. What else is up here? Because we probably, probably got a few more containers, maybe. Maybe another container, maybe something. We are, just start healing. It's okay. Just start healing. Heal yourself. Alright. Alright, now we can go to the tram area. Because we fixed the other two things. And now she finally shut up! I bet your incentive to keep doing it, or to get it done quickly. Is this you just won't shut up? Oh god, I forgot there was another one in there. Burn in hell! Now entering decontamination and transit hub. Alright boys, we're about to go kick User that Asari's butt. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Excuse me. I'm gonna kill everybody. Okay. The door could be 
Finest. It appears that the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Control group loosen the. They're in. Can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the struck. Without why you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here. Among my people, a suicide's body would be left for scavengers. The Nathak will get to him eventually. Nuke you! <laughs> Clear. Ah! Okay, are we clear now? There's one through this door. Okay. Do this. Screw these things, man. Screw these things. Alright. We're at the tram station. Okay. Anything in here we can grab? No. Is there a console? Somewhere? Oh, to Rift Station. All right, let's Departing go. Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. We're gonna die. Just kidding. Or am I? Why is everything going black? Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Begin killing. We must purge this station of its infection. Anybody around? Anybody in here? Is there anybody in there? Okay. It doesn't look like we have any enemies in here at the moment. What's over here? Hot Labs. What is this one? Okay, I don't know where that leads. So I'm not going down there quite yet. Actually, wait, so where does that lead? So that leads to Science Station. Elevator to Mess Hall. that door so I guess it's this is the only place I can go to it looks like because yeah okay so I can't get to the secure labs right now so the only place I can go is uh, through this one so we're gonna go through this one Hi, Stand Captain. Down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and... He ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? 
You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. All right, let's go back here and have a chit chat with the survivors. We'll survive. What's in here? Nothing. All right, so there's a bunch of people in here we can talk to. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. Elcor? I forgot there was an Elcor in here. Give me the medic book. Dr. Pallon. What? No! <sighs> Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Okay, what's going on here? All right, I can't get in there. Easy decryption. I think if I walk in front of that, they're gonna get pissy. What? Sorry, I'll leave. Then I will return to my meditations. All right, so is Mark going to talk to this chick? Pretty sure I, I can't remember who it is actually, but there is a doctor. Okay, here it is. What, what? What do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature, but there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay, so, um, there are several, uh, missions on Novaria in here that we can pick up and we're going to. So that was one of them. Um, I think we gotta go talk, alright, let's talk to the Elcor.
uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Let's see what we got here. Now we're gonna get that. We'll deal with that another time. Um, okay, so... What? You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. No, I think I have to actually talk to her about what? something. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Alice from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. Then You I can smell the inside of my booty. Ooh, okay, there's more stuff to loot in here. Give me that storage locker. And a weapon storage locker. Okay. And what's... Quarantine and barracks. Okay, so, alright, there we go. So is this where I'm supposed to go? No, okay. I think I need, okay, I think I understand where I, I'm supposed to be going. Captain, okay, I have to go to Captain Ventralis. I gotta go talk to him. So many doors! Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Okay, now that we have him taken care of, now we can go and... go to the quarantine labs. Which is where we were standing before. So let's go... Alright, so I think these, yeah, okay, quarantine labs and barracks. Going all the way. Let's do it, gang! Okay, just checking my time, so we'll see. We might do some of these, and then maybe we'll, we'll finish this up in another video, but we can see. That was a volus. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. 
The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Mua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. If you hadn't, you'd be dead too. Of course. That is perfectly true. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Oh, okay, more decryptions. Else we got scientists. Got okay, they're just, they're just gonna. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll. Uh, just gonna be yeah. dicks. So you just have to. It's a maintenance area. Okay. All right, that's locked. Looks like I ain't going there right now. They gotta head over this way. Oh, here we go. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Ah, oh. we'll see about that, bitch. What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Research notes. We've isolated four chemicals that be can be combined to counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amounts that will work. Too little or too much. Okay. So it's basically just explaining what I just did. Ooh, okay. Encryption. Again. Well. There we go. Okay, got it. Ooh, there's another one. It's an easy description though. Okay. What's in here? Meta gel. Can always use that. All right. Oh, you poor bastard. They came out of there. You mean the get 
the inorganics the Asari had with her. Venezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Okay. Yeah. So, here's what I'm going to do. So, we got the cure. So now we're going to return to Dr. Cohen. He's going to give us the ability to get into the maintenance bay. And then we're going to go take out all those guys. Because screw those guys. We got this. We got this, guys. We got this. Right. Okay, so... I need to go downstairs. Damn that bitch. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. Well, I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes, take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Okay. Damn, that is a lot of Paragon points. How are we doing in terms of Paragon right now? Ooh, we are almost maxed out. Nice. Nice. Okay. We're gonna go back up here. We gotta inform him. I think we gotta inform him that his, his, his bro is dead. Hey, potato chip. Did I go the correct way? Yes, I did. Something you need? I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. Dr. Ayalis? She seemed like the most stable one here. She was a huntress pledged to the Matriarch. A group of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. I've got work to do. You and me both. You go shove it. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so Rift Station... All right, so the back door, Dr. Cohen, to give you his pass, you can now sneak into the sealed maintenance area. Okay, so we're gonna go back to where we were. We're gonna get in the maintenance area. Right, go to the quarantine barracks, get in the maintenance area. Probably shoot a lot of Geth. Probably shoot a lot of Geth. How's it going, Rex? Ready to kill some Rachni, buddy? You're my bestest friend. Alright. Now we gotta run back here. So this is the maintenance area. Alright, we can open the door now. Alright. Alright, there's some red. God, fuck those things. Alright, something to encrypt, or decrypt. I'm gonna 
have so much fun upgrading on the ship after this. So much crap. Doesn't look like anything goes that way. Okay, this is... Alright, so this is gonna start her thing, so let's just do- let's do this. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Bitch. Oh boy. All right. Through. Oh, Gath, lovely. It's always your damn fallback plan. Just throw more robots at it. Up toys from hell. Right, you? you have awesome boobs. Please stop trying to kill me. Now you are finally getting weak. Filthy bitch. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind, to beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless, nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. 
The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar okay. space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You have to give me the location. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Fucked her. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will say we'll see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> she did. Now let's do horrible things. Boobs. Zombies. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. 
The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, in most of my playthroughs that I did with this uh, originally, I did kill the Rachni Queen almost always. The Paragon choice is to let her live, but at the same time, Rex is my bro. You're gonna die. Make your peace with the galaxy. The Rachni are a dead race. No, stop feeling and think. Even if you disagree with Asari morals, you must see she could be an ally. What's the matter? Are the Asari looking for a new species to cuddle up with? Is our kind so frightening? You would seek our silence if you cannot muffle our songs? If you cannot have us as your obedient claws? All right, this is this is the actual decision. So either we shut up and die, or I can't do this. So, shut up and die. This time, stay dead. We will not embrace the great silence. Get away from there. Burn in hell. Good riddance. Okay. Alright, so now we have to head back. So that's blocked off now. Now we have to go kill all those other Rachni. Check our time. Okay, we're getting close. So, uh, we're gonna get out of here. We'll see how long it takes to kill those Rachni. I think we can go over a little bit. Where the hell? How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. There we go. We're gonna kill all these Rachni. Yeah! Good one, so. You. Are you here to secure the situation? 
How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <sighs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. I need information on the neutron purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh... Six Semper Ter... <coughs> That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and... Who would have those codes? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Alright, so I gotta get the codes from this idiot. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Nera the stuff. Oh! Hi there! He did.
Holy crap, holies. Online. How can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Now we got a car out there. We did it, gang! Your body's gone. Okay, so we wasted all those guys. Alright, it doesn't look like there's any way to get back up because the elevator uh, is not functioning. Let's take a look at our... Whoop, nope, nope, nope. We're gonna take all that, but... Okay, so now we can leave, and there's no other Novaria ones, so we will leave here, so we can complete that mission. Assuming more Rachni don't show up for whatever reason. We purged everything. They're all dead. Evil space bugs. We're traveling down the tram station. Doing things the right way. Oh yeah, baby. I was say I don't remember if it puts me right back on the Normandy. It does, okay. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? Found them and wiped them out. Do you take pleasure from committing genocide, Shepard? It was them or me, Counselor. The choice wasn't hard. The mission must always come first. Just be aware that your actions can have far-reaching consequences. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Miss Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become... awkward. Oh. Awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Oh, God. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. I should have seen this coming. <laughs> I am afraid it was inevitable. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smartassing me? I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. I won't have my crew fighting. I agree, Shepard, which is why you must choose Ashley or me. 
Oh boy. <laughs> We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. Okay, okay, so I know this is gonna lock me out of both romances for the end of the game, but you can, you can insinuate a threesome here, and it is very, very funny. And honestly, actually, since I don't really give a shit about either of these two characters in terms of fucking them, even though I would probably rather go with Liara, um, I'm probably gonna go with this just because it's comically funny, since in the next game I have my, my romance that I usually carry over into the third, so we're gonna do this. Why do I have to make a choice? Maybe the three of us could... Uh... In your dreams, Commander. I hope you two, or however many you end up with, will be happy together. If you don't mind, I need to clean my gear. I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. I'll go talk with her in a while. Give her a chance to cool down. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but I'm glad you chose me. What? I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation. I'm going to shove my dick in every blue hole you have. And it's going to be freaky. Okay. How did I get Paragon points for that? I insinuated a threesome. That should be Renegade. Okay. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this one, so I am going to, I'm gonna walk out to the star map, and then I'm gonna save it here. We can run around and talk to the crew right after when we get back. Um, so I'm gonna save right here. Uh, go tweak the gear after this. Uh, so this is the end of this playthrough. Goodbye.